As you say, this is marine grade vinyl. Okay, so but I. It's, it's the cheaper foam. Okay, so what I. This I, is cheap foam? Oh, yeah. Well, okay. it's well, it's 30 years old. Yeah. And how do you put it on a curve so that it. Oh, I can't tell you that. That's good. Oh. The classic problem with cheap decks, especially ones that have been sanded a lot, <laughs> including this one, is the plugs pop out. Pop out, yeah. Because they get like wafer thin. So we milled out those for the starboard side. It'll go a lot faster than the port side because there's no more thinking. <laughs> nice. Which will slow me down. Yeah, thinking, that slows everybody down. Yeah, really, especially on days of end of Y. <laughs> Yeah, this is number 10. So we've got the pattern today for... 11 and 12, or is it just 11? Just 11. Just 11. Yep. Just widens out there a little bit. Yep, just like the original. Okay, that was, that was like that? Yeah, that's why. See all these nibs? Yeah. Have to oh, line. there's no nib in there. Yeah, they have to line up. Right. Yeah, that looked really good. Mm-hmm. And all this here, these butts and stuff here. Those are underneath the winch pads. Those are underneath, yeah. Same as over there. Nice. So, I think, yeah, just outside the winch pad. Other than that, we've <laughs> got some weird tapered pieces made, Sam. Yeah. But again, those are all, those are underneath. Yeah. Mostly underneath, just poking well, them All up. these little butts are. Those are, right? That's for sure. Okay. Yep. And you already cut this last piece, 11? No, we made the patterns this morning. Oh, okay. But I milled the pieces down here. Oh, so nice. See those sawhorses? Oh, oh those are, yeah. That's the rest of the... Uh, those over there are 7, 8, 9, 10, the starboard time. Okay. All, all cut the length. Beautiful. See, the reason we were going port to starboard before... Right. ...was mainly because of available materials. In other words, lengths is what we were worried about. So we have a 14, a 12, and so forth. We wanted to match it on the other side so you only have to lay it out once. Gotcha. <laughs> okay. So we'd be going back and forth, port to start, remember that? Yes. Then once we got to here, number six, well, seven is the first one that runs past the cabin side. Okay. So once that was in, we didn't care because everything else is. <clears throat> There's one 14 footer here, right here. 14 six. It goes way up there. Nice. Oh, but other uh, everything was under is either 12 something or under so we didn't have to worry about our material materials usage so we milled out those for the starboard side it'll go a lot faster than the port side because there's no more thinking <laughs> nice. once you slow me down yeah thinking that slows everybody down it's, yeah really especially on days that end and why <laughs> so okay here we go what's up with this we forgot to put the screw in there for you oh just for laughs. Okay. Run to that. Clean up that. in. Now. And what does the cleanup involve? Just look along the seam here where we <coughs> epoxied it. Okay. Oh, oh yeah. It's oozing out right there. Okay. Get that all nice and tidy so we don't deal with it. No sanding involved. Gotcha. You don't have to sand that stuff out no. later. Oh, no, if you had to sand. Or chip it out. Oh, no way. It's not rubbery, is it? Gets hard. It'll be rubbery for when it hardens. It'll be rubbery for a couple hours, and then the next day it'll be hard as a hard drop. Shit. Shit. It's always an orphan. It's always an orphan. Yep. Now, one of my questions was, uh, yeah, I had mentioned, asked this to you last time, was the holes are so deep, right? You've countersunk yes, you have to because you're going to put. Uh, plugs. Plugs in them. But still, it doesn't seem like there's much of that screw biting on the 
on the wood. Oh yeah. But it's plenty. Oh yeah. Well, you got a couple things going for you. You got about a quarter inch of wood underneath the screw head. Right. But underneath the wood is some more wood, so it right. can't like go through. Right. It's compressing it down on the to the substrate to the okay. underlayment. And it's glue. And it's glue. And so you want to on decks especially. You want it, you want your plugs to be pretty deep for a couple reasons. The deeper they are, the more surface area of the glue they have down okay. inside the hole. Right. The classic problem with cheap decks, especially ones that have been sanded a lot, <laughs> including this one, is the plugs pop, pop out. Pop out. Yeah. Because they get like wafer thin, and so there's more sur there's more surface area on the plug than there is glue. Tube. And cheap so decks, those... decks get pretty warm. Yeah. You know? So you want those plugs to be deep. 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 Yeah. And they always look deeper than they are. You know, right. you go, wow, that's. Right. But if you look at it from over here, it's just over about 5 16ths, maybe 3 8 at the most. Well, the plank's 5 8 <laughs> So that leaves you a quarter. At the okay. Here for the last piece, almost fits perfectly. Yeah. A little wiggle. Ooh, that one looks pretty good. Hmm. Fascinating. Need another inch on this one. It's too, yeah. Too long. This one needs another inch. Let's take a look. Get this wet boxy out of here. Um, a little wide. But All right. It's still a little strong because we got that eight. You know something? I think it's close enough to trace it onto the wood. Because why make this fit perfect? Spend yeah. all that time and start over the other wood. It's pretty good, actually. Just a little tight there. Okay, this is a two by six, basically. Two inch thick, 11 foot six long piece of teak that we ordered special for this, knowing that these planks were gonna have to be sawn <clears throat> and kind of wide. So Ted was able to find one for me. Pretty rare, a piece of vertical grain that big. And so it was, it was together like this. It was two inches thick, so we resawed it. See the uh, butter, what they call a butterfly? Okay. Mirror images of each. Yeah. And the plank has a slight curve to it, which is good. But the most important thing, we'll take this, show this. To, I don't know how good the camera will see this, but if you hold this on the grain, you can see that the grain curves about like that. Okay. And all the way down to here. See that? And that's good. That's really good, and I'll show you why. Now these are the patterns we made for the port side, which are, they're close to the starboard side, but not, <laughs> not usable. So if you lay these in here just right, you can see how this, whoop, whoop, sorry. This piece here follows the grain real nicely. And this one, down here, and <laughs> so these are the pieces for the inside along along the uh, cabin. The cabin, yeah, because they're wider than two inches. Well, they're wider, and you and you can't bend them in uh, right. <laughs> because you you can't get them out. Right. Well, you could, but boy, it'd be real risky tearing up the edges. So these are like a hull plank. They have to be spiled and sawn to shape. Gotcha. Not bent into shape. No. And from here on, you know, if this is off a little bit, even on the real wood, it'll it'll adjust itself. They're not completely unbendable. Right. It's just when you get back that last foot or so, it's almost it's two and a half inches wide. So it would have a heck of a time bending in a short distance. <laughs> How far are we now? Three? Uh, just under three. Okay. That gap's getting smaller? Yeah. Okay. Let's slide it your way. Okay. Now, how's this gap gone? Yeah, pretty much. Okay, so the whole thing is basically just a little oversized. Okay. Okay. All right. We're getting 
getting there. Roger that. Um, also, Clint, we need um, this butt needs to be dubbed here. Okay. So I'm going to just uh, massage this a little more. improved. <laughs> okay, you got it? Yeah. How about now? Good. Getting tighter. What do you got, two inches? Mm, two and three quarters. Half, maybe? Uh, it's yeah. just, you know what, I think it's sanding block time. Because back here, we're almost in. It'll, it'll actually almost go in, so. Take a little, um, yeah. Wedge around, huh? Where is it binding? Everywhere? Just, it's, it's basically just a millimeter too big. Okay. Which is fine. You see, as that end goes in, you have to get the rabbit on there. This side. Okay. You remember when we cut this line here? Yes. We did that for many reasons. One of them it was kind of wobbly, <laughs> and there was some bad wood we had to cut back. Yeah. But also by using those guides, we got a nice clean edge. So when we went to fit these, we were fitting to a uh, more consistent edge. Three feet is pretty much done. And I, I built a rare only for myself because I was in Republic because I don't do that. But I built a, a Sunbrella cover for our ski boat I bought years ago, probably 15 years ago, and it's still on the boat and it's still good. But what so, about cushions? Like, will they get wet inside? Well, of course they will. Yeah, as opposed to this, they don't get wet in this. Of, well, they will, they will, but not, not as probably as much as Sunbrella. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, you know. As you say, this is marine grade vinyl. Yeah. But, okay, so the, the question, okay, so but I... But it's, it's the cheaper foam. Okay, so what I... This is I, cheap foam? Oh, yeah. It's well, it's, well, it's 30 years old. Yeah, yeah. So. yeah. Well, it's obviously, fine. we're redoing all the oh, foam. Oh, good Lord, what the hell is that stuff? <laughs> <laughs> Must have come from a foreign country. Yeah, well, like... It possibly could have. But, um, so yeah. one of the thoughts I had was, if these actually fit in their spaces, and we take and replace the foam, we can keep this cover, and we then we can uh, clean it. We can clean it, but then we can also put the umbrella, like slip cover, the outside. Uh, the problem is, is no matter what you do on a vessel, you cannot keep anything water yeah. out of the yeah. fault. You just, it's just impossible. I've had people, do, and and you're right. You can, we can, it can be shrink wrapped, and it can be. You can, you know, you can whatever and stuff, but you just can't because it'll go through the zipper. Yeah. You know, um, it'll, it'll it's moisture. It will find. Yeah, it. moisture will find its way to get yeah. in there and that yeah. sort of stuff. Now, if these cushions, if these cushions fit, uh -huh. 
and they're not in bad shape. It's a color scheme we're not living with anymore. Oh, okay. So I'm going to change say, that up. Okay, I was, I was just going to use it if I get there, there, I, My cleaner will clean those cushions up practically brand new. We put new foam in and drop them back in the boat. But if you're going to change your color scheme, but if you're going to do, I, I don't think I would try to put, I don't think I would try to put umbrella over the this. Exterior it would look, it. wouldn't look good. It would. Engine three quarters. Okay. One spot right there. Much. Yes. Okay. Hand it down to me. Is that ready to be drilled? No. We're gonna rabbit it. Rabbit it. Putting a rabbit, just now you put it on the cabin side or on the other side? Cabin side. Cabin side. And how do you put it on a curve so that it. Oh, I can't tell you that. I have to get oh. you. Do it by hand. <laughs> well, you see this little roller? Yeah. That rolls along the materials. So it guides it. Oh, okay, beautiful. Yeah. Okay. So I always start with a so shallow. You did some of the rabbits on the table saw. Yeah, everything's eight inch. Okay. Yeah. And uh Vibrating, see? Is that vibrating? Well, that means it's, it's just about done. Okay, so that stays the same. I think what we just did, a little more of it. <laughs> I mean, we could almost rabbit it and throw it in now, but... So, 
Three eighths, huh? Yep. Okay. Blowing out. A little bit, a little bit. I think we got it. Third time's the charm. What do you got? Quarter inch. What do you got? Eighth inch. Yep. Small. Good. Beautiful. <laughs> That's good. All right, now we just recut the rabbit. And uh, everybody will be happy. Yes. Okay, so now we're going to... See, we were taking it off the rabbit. Right. But, so now the rabbit's too small. Oh, yeah, you got to recut it. We'll just recut it. Okay. Very nice. So has this all come together the way, since we haven't really talked today, and I, I have to kind of go, but has, has this deck gone in pretty much as, as you were hoping? Yeah. I mean, it was like we figured... Uh, Ten courses, remember? Yeah. And then, uh, of course, this oddball, which is came to just about two and a half, which is what we talked about two, three months ago. Right, yeah. And uh, yeah, everything seems to be falling into place. You only have a couple more courses on the other side left to do. Oh no, we have three. Three. Yeah. Or no, uh, four. Okay. Four and all this mess here. See this? All these weird butts. Yeah. That's because the winch pad goes here. <clears throat> so you don't do anything about that, right? You're not going to cut those out or anything. No, those are no. we put those in. Right, right. And then same here. It'll be all caulked, but the winch pads cover all this. Yeah. Yeah. So we were able to, because of the the there are limited plank lengths, which is 14.7, I think was the longest one. You can see here where this one ends up under the winch pad. Yeah. This course is only two planks long. Oh, that whole one, huh? The 14, 6, and the 9 up there. So you try to use your materials to advantage, you know. And so if you got winch pads and the deck's already this thick right there, remember we put all that blocking in? Yeah. To take the bolts for the winch pads? So that took care of that. And we didn't have any. See this plank here, but it ended up in a little feather right here. Okay. This one would have ended up in a feather here and here. You'd have just seen a feather. Okay. So we kept it down to just one feather per side on the boat, which is fine. Just the thing I'm hung up on. This one. So, uh, so, again, we're going to be back in a couple of weeks. We'll see probably the rest of the deck done. But... Well, if not done, it'll be because we're fitting little pieces. Because now we have to start thinking ahead again in here into the cockpit area. Okay. Um, the king plank, yep. you know. Front and rear. And remember, beware of the little sticks. Those little short planks will kill you. Okay. It's like this one we're just putting in. It's only right. eight feet long. Yeah. Took us two hours to fit it. Yeah. Whereas a generic plank, 14 feet long, takes literally minutes. Okay. Fit it, bang it into place, drill it, take it out, glue it. You know. So it's all about that. It's all what, like whole planks. It's all about their location. You know how odd they might be. Ugh.